I'm currently in Doha, Qatar, and I'm about to board a four and a half hour flight to Kathmandu. Now, I was just in Nepal, so a lot of people are asking me why I'm going back. I'm gonna head over to my gate and try and explain it the best I can. Bye guys, thanks so much. Thank you. I just wrapped up filming another video where I spent 24 hours in the Doha airport and I spent most of my time at this lounge right here. It was super fun. I first flew to Nepal to hike to Everest Base Camp and that was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. I knew I would love that, but what I wasn't expecting was how much I'd fall in love with the country as a whole, the people, and the food. How cool is this airport? There are just statues like this all over the place. This was voted the best airport of 2022. I can see why. It's hard to explain, but there's just something different about Nepal. The raw, natural beauty there is unlike anywhere else in the world. The culture, the people are so respectful, so friendly, and it's just a special place. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. So even though I just did the Everest Base Camp trek not too long ago, I have some new adventures planned for this trip. I splurged on this flight and got business class. I actually flew from the US to Doha on business and I booked it with points, so I didn't have to pay the full price for it. Welcome on board, sir. Thank How you. Are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. This way, please. This is a super nice business class seat for such a short flight. I was expecting just a small business class since the flight's just over four hours. This is a legit business class with a fully lay flat seat, big TV, all the amenities. I'm pretty happy about this. Also, I just did a full review of Qatar Airways Q Suite business class. So if you haven't seen that yet, you should watch it. I hiked the EBC trail with my cousin Sam, and this time around, I'm bringing my dad out and hiking a new mountain that I've never done before, he's never done before. So I'm gonna experience Nepal for the first time with him and hiking to an 8,000 meter peak base camp with him. We are going to be hiking the Annapurna base camp trek, and I could not be more excited. I've heard such great things about it. But even before I do that, I have tons of Nepal adventures planned. Nepal has quickly become one of my favorite countries in the world, and I seriously feel so blessed to be going back. We have taken off and are in the air now. I just had to do something really hard. I love every part of travel. I love flying. I'm one of those weirdos who gets happier the longer the flight is. I love experiencing all types of airplanes. This business class offers a five course dinner as part of the flight. I had to say no to all of it because I've basically spent the last 24 hours eating nonstop. The Al Marjan business class lounge in Doha is one of the nicest in the world. I had such good food there. So I had to control myself. I already had dinner tonight. And that's another reason for going on this trek too. It gets me in really good shape. Wow, that flight went by way too fast. That was amazing. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Time. Have a good night. Back in Kathmandu. My goal is to visit every single country in the world. I've been to 104 so far, and it's rare that I come back to a country I've already been to before going to a new one but I'm making an exception for Nepal. The birthplace of Buddha. That's what that says in Nepali. As an American, we can get visas on arrivals here in Kathmandu. You just have to have $30 cash and put your information into this computer screen that takes forever. Oh, 
Oh, this is mild. It was a lot more chaotic last time I was here. Hey, how are you, Kumar? Good, good. How are you, sir? Good, good to see you. Okay, nice to meet you. Yeah, Jordan. Probably because it's three o'clock in the morning. It's a little more mellow. Oh my gosh, look at all those dogs. All right, I have made it to the hotel. About a 20 minute drive later, we drove past some of the streets that I walked down last time I was here. Namaste. So good to be back. Namaste. How are you guys? Here is home for the next couple of nights. I am exhausted. I've been traveling for about 45 hours straight now. So I'm gonna get some sleep and then tomorrow I'm exploring Kathmandu. Even though it's nearly 5 p.m. now, I finally made it out of the hotel back on the streets of Kathmandu. It's just as good as I remember. The noise, the chaos, the motorbikes, people selling stuff everywhere. It's good to be back. The thing I missed the most about Nepal was the food. So I'm heading now to eat my favorite dish here, which is also the national dish of Nepal. I am currently in Tamil, which is the region of Nepal, where, hello, namaste. Hello, namaste. Where all of the trekking shops, there's tons of restaurants, and just so much is happening here. Yeah. Hi, oh my hello. goodness. Namaste. namaste. <laughs> oh, nice video. Oh, uh, thank, thank you. <laughs> That's right on topic with what I was about to say. I mentioned it earlier, but probably the thing I love the most about Nepal is how kind the people are. Everywhere I go, people are saying namaste. They want to just have a conversation. They ask where I'm from and they're just so friendly. Namaste. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. He saw me filming and offered me a free banana. It's actually really good, really sweet little apple banana. There are these little stupas all over, just in the middle of the streets in Kathmandu. If you see one of these bells, it's good luck to come by and ring it. Hello, Hi. namaste. namaste. It's, is it good? It's good luck, right? Oh, okay. Okay. This restaurant I'm going to was only a three minute walk away but it's taken me nearly half an hour to get there because I keep stopping and going into shops and talking to people. <laughs> Dogs everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's gonna freaking chase me. Almost got hit by a motorbike. All right, made it. This is where we're going. I've done some extensive research and a lot of people have said that this is the best doll bot in all of Kathmandu. That's what I was looking for. Let's give it a try. Hello. Namaste. Thank you so much. That looks, looks amazing. Here's how I know this place is authentic. They didn't even serve me a fork or spoon with this meal, which is awesome because dalba is traditionally eaten with your hands. So I've ordered a very traditional Nepali meal. I have dalba, vegetable momos, and masala tea. Butter? Yeah. yeah, sure, a little bit. Over the rice, oh. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so dalba means lentils and rice, but different restaurants will add different things to it. So this version of it is called takali kali. It comes with rice, lentils, curried vegetables, fresh spinach, some yogurt, 
and I got mine with chicken. And then these vegetable momos, I don't know what's inside, so I'm gonna see here. Mmm. Curried vegetables. Carrots, onions, celery, some cabbage maybe, and then a spicy sauce. Mm, that's fantastic. And then what you're supposed to do, smash down the doll a bit. Excuse me, the rice, the bot, and then dump the doll all over it. Oh, yes, thank you so much. Forgot to mention, dalba is always all you can eat. So the workers will come around with all of the ingredients on the plate and refill you as soon as it gets out. So even though I haven't eaten yet, he brought me more dal already. All right, so you're supposed to just kind of mix this all together. And here we go, let's give it a try. Oh, oh my gosh. This is like comfort food at its finest. Wow. <laughs> the workers were all looking over at me to make sure I liked it. Most Nepali people you talk to will tell you that they eat dalbat at least once, if not two to three times per day. This is a staple in the cuisine here. People literally eat it for every meal. And it's perfect because it's filling, but it's not too heavy. The dal is nice and light, the rice fills you up, and then the curried vegetables on the side are a perfect addition. Masala tea is really popular here. It's typically made of cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, and then milk all mixed together. Oh yeah. This, I think this might have butter in it too. It tastes a little buttery but the cinnamon's coming through. It soothes your stomach while you eat this. This is all amazing. It is actually respectful too to lick all of your fingers. It means you enjoyed the food. This doll bot was $3 and the chai tea was about 50 cents. So total about $5 for all of this food. Crazy. Look at these paintings, holy cow. So I was gonna go out and see a few other things after dinner, but I'm really just enjoying being on the streets right now, talking with people and exploring. My Annapurna trek starts in about a week, so I'm gonna spend four days here in Kathmandu and then a few days in Pokhara. I'm about to get hit by something. So I've got a lot more I'm doing in Nepal. Let me know in the comments below some must-visit spots that I can't miss. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.